What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another hybrids episode for you all today and today we're going to be working on the base. Now as you can currently tell there ain't much of a base. It's foundations and some odd bits of equipment that I've just placed down because I thought I needed more storage space. So the plan for today guys is we have a very large area. Now I don't know if we're going to be able, let's get the bird's eye view up here. I don't know if we're going to be able to use this as entire space for a base like in terms of building on the entire thing, just because of how big it is. So what I'm thinking is we build a castle at this front section, or if anything, we actually just enclose this whole area with some towers in the corners. So for example, here, the only thing as well is we have to be careful that we don't uh, go over the edges because it's obviously not a perfect square. So I might try and just make as much of it as we can, but it's obviously gonna require a lot of foundations. So what I might try and do is if we can find a, a center point as well for us to build from, we should be able to make a pretty nice looking area. Don't think we're going to be able to use the whole area. Like I think we'll probably just maybe set up here, build a tower here to be honest, and then go down across because we need to build on the insides of this play of this plateau so that everything fits. But it's going to be a lot of foundations, but I think and then like we, we're gonna have to run around all that distance to get to where we need to go. So I think at the same time, it's a good idea to have a big base, but it's also not the greatest idea, but I kind of want a big base. Um, as you guys saw, I have gone ahead and knocked out an Anki. So that is going to tame up, hopefully, if nothing attacks it. I did try and find a Dodicarus, but I didn't have any luck finding any. So that's just, uh, that is what it is, unfortunately. There's not much we can do from that. All right. So what we need to do first is we need to get our starter block down because we need to make sure that we have enough height so that, because the ground's not level either, we need to make sure that we have enough height to cover everything. So let's come this way. Okay, let's go here because this is obviously going to be the entrance of our base. So let's put the starter block down as centered as I possibly could make it. And now the question is how high? I think we need to increase it a little bit, to be honest. Uh, adjust position. Take that back to zero. Y, take that back down to zero. Okay, Z is the one we want to raise. So we don't want it that high, right? We don't need it that high. So what if we go there? Feel like that's a good height let's do that so this way it'll double stack any foundations that aren't tall enough you can see here it'll probably oh no it's not asking for a double stack all right cool so from here we can then build outwards we're going to need a lot of stone foundations which is why i was trying to find a dodicarus for but i didn't have much luck and then let's go the other way i don't know i think i made more of the triangle ones more so than anything else yeah okay so this is the problem and I also don't know whether or not we want it to snap into line with the behemoth gate. But I guess I can do that later down the line anyway. So let's get this up and running. I'll see if I can get some rampart towers going on. And we can go from then. Uh, yeah, pretty much we're just going to have to... How does that look? Kind of. What we want. Yeah, we're going to have to do a lot of little testing and stuff like that. But I wanted to get a doe dick because we need a lot of stone. And doing this without a doe dick is going to be very painful. So we'll see how we go. I'm going to do a little bit of playing around. I should have probably gone into single play mode and GCM this stuff. But I didn't think that far ahead. Can go into this, Going into this with a completely blind uh, method of designing this base. So I'm gonna have a mess around with I don't know how much stone I have left because that behemoth gate did cost us a lot But I'm gonna try and mess around with it some more and we're gonna see if we can build ourselves a at least a starter of something
Alrighty guys, we're back and the tech Anki should be ready to tame. It's been starving for a very long time while we've been working on the base. And I think that's going to be more than enough. Uh, no luck finding a dodic, so I've had to do all the stone gathering by hand. By hand, I mean with the hatchets. It's been... Oh, I never want to see another stone again. And they're everywhere. They're everywhere. I've, I've been looking for a dodigris every time I've been going out and stuff, but I just have not had any luck finding any. Which is really unfortunate, because it, it would speed it up a lot quicker. Because the Dodix would just one-tap those rocks, we could move on. But with the hatchet, we have to spend a bit of time actually hacking at it. So, it's a bit unfortunate, but it, it, there's not much we can do really about it. So, I'll show you the progress on the base. You guys should have been seeing some of it anyway while we were doing it. Um, I kind of actually, it's kind of going to be kind of similar to that. We've got some aloes down here. Did I bring my Dano? I didn't. I was going to say we could fight those aloes and get some aloe rains. I still... Haven't made a goddamn spyglass. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. I still haven't made a damn spyglass. Let's dispose of these. Oh, shizers. There's a lot of them. Hit him from above. Bug. They can't hit us up here. Okay, this one's pretty weak anyway. Anki is 93%. So we came out at a good time. So we just got to wait for that to tame up. And then we're getting out of here and we're going to go back to the base and continue finishing. Honestly, I'm kind of, uh, I'll show you when we get back there, but I'm kind of like of half a mind how we want to do it. I'm kind of thinking we, I like what we've done so far, but I think we're going to need obviously a base of operations. And I'll show you what we mean when we get back there. But this is probably going to be our biggest build yet, I think. I don't think we've done anything bigger than this, thinking about it on the top of my head. So, I'm keen to get into it. Uh, we've got a bunch of Ecos mods on the server as well. So, they'll be uh, they'll be kicking in as well to obviously provide some extra aesthetics and stuff like that to it. Don't forget, you guys can join this server if you do sign up to my Patreon as well. Check it out. The link is in the description. But uh, let's get back to base and I'll show you what we've done. Alrighty. So, there is pretty much the basic layout. It's a glorified box. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. It's a glorified box. I'm not sure whether or not I would put, I'm going to put another one of those in between, uh, in the middle. I kind of want to, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, uh, meh. I don't know. That's maybe once I get a Dodicarus, I can do that. So we've got this behemoth gate here. I've tried to line it up as best as I can so that it's straight. Um, so instead of coming in, we don't go that way. We just go straight in. Because I'm going to bring these foundations out and they're going to join. I'm going to snap the behemoth gate onto the foundation so that it's nice and straight. So that's what we're going to be doing. That's the game plan. Uh, I should have enough stone foundations to finish this off today. And then what I was thinking was back here, we can have a raised section. So this, this area here is going to be raised and that's going to be our base base. Uh, so crafting, all that sort of stuff. And then we can overlook... The islands over into the into Balheimer. That was the plan. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll, we'll see how we go because that foundation here, this one here is our central block. So I was going to have it go all the way down to the end here just so we know where it is and then pick all the foundations up and build the base around that bit um, with some pillars and stuff like that. I don't know. I think it'll look pretty cool. But we've got the Anki. I should do a metal run with the nodes down at the mountain there. He's a cool looking Anki, I reckon. She, sorry, I should say. She's a cool looking Anki. So if we need tech Anki, oh, well, yeah, it's a tech Anki. I should have actually tamed up the other one now that I think about it. Nonetheless, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's uh, let's do that. And we're going to cryo it up. I should do another metal run like I've already said, but you know I won't. So let me come in here real quick. Have we got our foundations? Yes, we do. Yeah, man, just hacking at those stones with our hatchet, super, super tiring. Not tiring, just time consuming more like it. Because if we had a dodic, we could spend so much more time harvesting more of the stones. God dang it. Pick that up. All right, so yeah, I mean, I'm super happy with this though. I know it's, I know it's a glorified box. I know, I know, you don't need to tell me. But we've got a lot of areas inside now to do a lot of activities and stuff like that. So dino storage, greenhouses, all that good stuff. Is this going to make it? Yeah, perfect. Boom. Look at that. All right. And then this, I'm hoping that this lines up. If not, we're going to be in trouble. Because I've done something wrong. I know you should probably, you normally should do it from one side and work your way around. But I ain't that smart. So I'm hoping, oh no. 
Oh no, it's not lining up. All right, um, I need to check. Well, I think I just did it one foundation prematurely. So, let's pick all these up. Oh, it's gut wrenching. All right, so we're gonna finish out the bow the outer layer, and then we'll bring you guys back in a bit. All righty, guys. So the base base foundations, I guess you could say, because that's literally all it is, have been laid. So I think this should be enough room to store all our hybrids in, right? I'm hoping so. Plus, we're going to need to get a greenhouse going at some point as well. So, I mean, I would say that this is enough space. Now, I'm obviously, I'm not going to infill, I'm not going to fill in this whole area with foundations. No, 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 that, no, 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 get, get your mind out of there because I ain't that dedicated to building. There's no way we're filling this in. So I was going to build some, probably a bridge down the middle. I will, I say a bridge, but foundations down the middle have ramps going off that and on the edges in certain spots. Um, and then possibly building pens without foundations on the floor. I don't know yet. I'm not fully uh, fully behind that idea, but we'll see how we go. But what I want to try and do um, is if I go like this. Okay, let's, not, let's just pick these back up. I was going to say, I want to see if I can get the behemoth gate to snap onto this and still be centered. I don't know if it would though. So uh, I'm going to run these foundations down the middle because we need to build the entrance area-ish of our base. Is that enough let me get some more of those all right and so yeah so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead build the bridge so that it's all lined up and centered and then we can build our sort of starting bit of our base area all righty guys we are back and it's been a busy time so let's run you through as you can see we have opted for this central bit i did say that i wanted the basey bit to be at the back here, so I could overlook it and look out over there, but I just couldn't come up with a design that would look good back there. So I opted to go for a circular design. Uh, and once again, as you can see, we've got a circular base here. Uh, a little bit of an issue, we didn't really get it to line up perfectly because obviously we built this after we'd laid down all the other foundations. It didn't exactly line up. So for example, there's a little bit of a gap between this and our original foundations, but I just chucked another foundation in there and that does the trick of hiding that. We just won't be able to put walls up when it comes to this bit, which honestly isn't really too much of an issue. Uh, so it is as central as I could make it, as, as centered as I could get. Uh, and this is gonna be our main area, I guess. So this will be like uh, where we'll store all of these things over there, the fabricator, smithy, grill, uh, the breeding, uh, hybrid stuff, all that sort of stuff is going to be stored in here. I will probably change it up and put some wood down, to be honest, because uh, there's a lot of stone. So I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, we had to take our RG out to go out and get the stone and the wood because we just couldn't carry it all. And we pretty much exercised all our options here. So there's a ton of stone just uh, down that little ridge over there. So we've got heaps of stone there. Ah, but I've got good news. We also went ahead and made up a new hybrid. And this is a new herbivore. And that is the dung beetle and the pheomia. Oh, this guy looks big. Yo. Oh my god. I love it. Haploscarab. I love this guy. That is so awesome. What? All right, we need to get a saddle on him. Funny story as well. We also found this Ascendant Fiona saddle blueprint in one of those cave drops that we got just across the way from us. So I'm going to laugh super hard if this works because we have a 110 armored saddle ready to go for our new dude. I'm really hoping this works. Haploscarab. I love him. He's so good. Oh. His description says that he's a tank as well. Look at him. He runs like a Fiomia. I can see his Fiomia mouth sticking out. <laughs> Yo, this guy's great. What does he do? I think he spits poo. Yeah, he spits fertilizer. I think I read something about it spitting fertilizer. And then we've got that attack, which is like a Fiomia, and then a roar. That's kind of scary. All right, let's take him out. He needs to go test something. Three, four, six, oh, three. Three, six. Okay, so we've got about 200 health. I genuinely love this dude. Oh my god, he is great. Does he get berries? He doesn't get any berries. Do we want it? Do we think we can take on a pack of herb of terror birds? Oh, we're not gonna have much of a choice. I should have brought back up. 
That does do damage. Okay, it only hits for 34. That's not a lot of damage. It could be in trouble here. Although we aren't taking too much damage because obviously the saddle, which is good news. Oh, I love this little dude. Honestly, I love him. He is a herbivore, or she's a herbivore. I'm not entirely sure what gender it is, but... Okay, that... Oh, is it because they're not mate boosted anymore? Does that make them do, take more damage? I mean, we're chunking these dudes pretty good. Not bad. I abs... Look at his little legs. I genuinely love this dude. He is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> He's my new favorite. He's absolutely my new favorite at the moment. All right, let's get this. Let's go. I'll, oh, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, God. New tussle. Get him, big fella. So it looks like that spew, vomit, poo thing actually slows him down as well, which is good. Let me through, let me through. He kind of just rams through them as well. Like, they didn't really stop us from getting through. I love this guy. He needs a name. Come on. Just kill him. Oh, whoa. Look at his poo. It's like green. We're going to try and pick up his poo. Hopefully... I wonder if we pump him full of skin berries if he'll provide good fertilizer. Nutrient-rich feces. Everyone poops. Okay. This poo... Wait, what? This type of poop is somehow safe to eat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Hey, look. It's giving us food. All right. It says it's, we ate raw or rotten food, but it said it was safe to eat. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I love this guy. Oh, my God. He is great. I need to get a gate, actually, on this so that nothing wanders in and hurts us. I love this dude. Look at him. He's so cute. I love it. <laughs> He's so cool. All right, so I, I really wanted to slam the base out today and get it all finished, but I don't think we'll need to. I really want to... We need to get a Dodic. Like, I just can't find one. We need to get a name for this guy. We're going to call him Beetlejuice. I feel like that's relevant. Uh, we need to name our Deinonychus. Uh, change name. Talon. Cool. All right, I'm happy about that. We're going to leave those... I'll, I'll figure out names for the other ones, but... Oh my god. Alright. This is great. I love it. So guys, we're going to wrap up this episode of the hybrids. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know base building ain't that exciting, but once this is all finished, it should be really nice. Nonetheless, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one.